Sony just released some more details on the PlayStation Classic and let's get through those those details now. So first of all it says the controller is very close to the original and of course I would think of that automatically. Um, but I'm just waiting for that moment to really grab the controller and feel the nostalgia of it. I'm just waiting for that moment. <laughs> and uh, I'm very happy to know that the original opening screen and sounds are still there because that's so nostalgic and so that that was pretty much also expected but to know that now i'm really glad about that um So about the system user interface, it says it's a kind of low resolution, uh, very reminiscent of the original. Uh, I, I don't have any screenshots of the user interface, so we'll see when it's released or if we get to see some screenshots of the user interface later before the release. But yeah, it says it's a kind of very close and very similar kind of style than the original. And then about the memory cards and saving. I already know that you can, by pressing the reset button, you can make a continue point. So you can continue right from that point. But I myself I'm going to use those original in-game save, saves more, I would think. I wouldn't say I don't want to use the kind of save states, um, because in some cases, I would probably use those also. Um, so that's about the saving and memory cards. And like we already knew that the open button will change disks on the games that has a multi CDs like Metal Gear Solid and Final Fantasy. Uh, and that's pretty much the only function of the open button. It just changes disks and that's all. Um, so about the aspect ratios, I was expecting that we'll get the original Four on three aspect ratio. Uh, of course, almost all of us or all of us has widescreen TVs now, so there will be a black borders. But we'll see if 
Sony is going to fill those borders with some, I don't know, some pictures are or they just black. So we will see about that. And it also says I'm kind of kind of worried that some of the game versions are PAL versions because I'm from Europe and we all know that the PAL versions ran 50 hertz and the American NTCS versions ran 60 hertz so there were much much more fluid and much more faster than the 50 hertz so it says some of the games are pal versions while the others are ntsc versions so i think the persona game that was never released in europe that's definitely going to be the American version. And yeah, we'll see what games are. It doesn't say what games are the PAL versions and what are NTSC versions. So yeah, that remains to be seen once the game console is released um yeah i mean that's about it about the details many of these details were already known but the most interesting to me was to get to know something about the user interface because i'm so curious how that will look and like I said, we still don't have any screenshots how it will look, but I'm pretty I'm pretty happy to say also that those opening animations and sounds are the original ones and I was kind of worried that they wouldn't include those but since I know that now I am really happy about it so yeah that's about it my quick thoughts on those more details and the release is getting closer and closer it's less than a month now so I can't wait to get hands on the console on December 3rd and like I have said a couple of times i will do immediately the unboxing of that console so if i don't come up with any more news on the playstation classic before that or any other topic we will see you in december 3rd so till that now it's bye.